this is Steve again. Uh, we're gonna show you how to dismount and mount a tire on a rim. It's pretty easy. Um, I have so many uh, stock trailers and utility trailers and equipment trailers and vehicles uh, between the rest of my family and myself. We, if I had to run a tire or down to the tire shop every time I had a problem, I'd be wasting a lot of time. So I'm gonna show you how to do this and the tools you'll need. Okay, here's some of the tools you need. You need a core removal tool. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Um, some type of ch uh, air chuck. This is a self-locking type. Uh, two tire spoons, um, air compressor, and a tire hammer, a uh, spoon-built tire hammer. You can also, if you're really in a pinch, I've done it quite a few times out in the middle of the woods or a field, you can lay a board up here, like a two by six, and run it over with another vehicle and have the board setting right on the edge of the tire and it'll pop it, pop it off the bead. And of course, soapy water. This is uh, your best friend. And uh, so, um, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna let the air out of the tire. Watch your core, it can go flying. We're gonna set this aside in a safe place. Ish. <laughs> Soap it up, put a little soap on each bead, and that'll soak in. Now this is a little truck we just put together with a little diesel engine in it, and I just had a tire separate, so I'm just swapping it out with a piece of junk. This, this is a, a tire we had on a tractor, we ended up swapping it out, but it's the same size as what I need, so we're just going to use it temporarily while we're uh, doing some shakedown runs on this truck. So, so you have to be real careful here not to ding your rim. You always want to start farther away on the tire than on the rim. I would not suggest doing this on aluminum rims because you can chip break the rim. You can crack a chunk out of the rim. Steel rims are much more forgiving. You can hammer back into shape if you mess up. So here we go. There we go. That only took one. Sometimes it'll take several. The longer you let it soak, the better. Push it off the bead, flip it over facing us, uh, stem side up most of the time. And you take your tire tools, start one on one side, you pry it over, pushing down the opposite bead down into the uh, groove, the center groove of the tire, the rim. It's down here if you can see that. And now you push this down, lock it, hold it with your foot, grab your other tire spoon, and shove it right where the rim and the tire meet. Don't get greedy, take a little bit bite, and push it back. So once you get a couple on it, the other tire tool will stay there on its own. And then when you get a couple more, you can take it out. Almost there. I'm gonna pop this on here. This can be a little, sometimes, sometimes it'll pop right off. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes you gotta get the tire spoon behind the rim and pry it as hard as you can, put some weight on it, take a, top, a hammer, and if you can't handle the big hammer doing this, you hit it right behind where the rim is sticking out. So I was hoping to show you that, but it popped right out of there. Um, so let's, uh, you can see this tire really separated. It's just an old piece of junk. So here we go. Lay it, stem side up most times. Okay, so now we're fixing to uh, put it back on. Uh, soapy water are on the bead. Um, I got one here, when I pulled it off this old tractor, I cracked the bead a little bit. So if you, you know, I'm hoping it'll seal there, um, but if you really are having problems or if it's a really dry tire, I'll use a little bit of grease sometimes. And just smear it around it, because if you don't, you'll end up breaking a chunk out of the bead sometimes and then the tire's junk. So don't do that. You can even do it on a tire machine. You're not careful. Just a little bit of grease. If you put too much, sometimes it slides around. I'm kind of guilty of doing that. Okay. So you lay it on the tire like on the rim like that. And you get you push it on on an angle. So you push it on an angle and you get it to shove around. Some of these 15 and 16 inch tires like this are pretty easy to do. You get into a tractor tire or a motorcycle tire are a real pain. So, pops right on. Sometimes you can do it with one, one tire spoon. So, here you're going to use your feet. Okay? Get her and stand up on it. Now, you're going to take, I use my left foot most of the time. 
just you kind of lock it down on the tire on the rim the next one you start pushing it around take a step and hold it down in place now the, you can take big bites to start with but after a while you get around to the other side you're going to take little bites now, these little p size p tires are really flexible so they're not hard to do we're almost done there it's on on the rim now i gotta beat it up so a lot of times you can flow a lot more air without putting the stem in so I suggest don't put the stem in until you get it beat it up. And sometimes there's a few tricks to get it beat up. If the tire's touching the rim, it, sometimes it'll bead right up. If it's not, sometimes you gotta put it on a bucket and shove one bead down. So let's give this a try. I'll try here. Too loose. Okay, so we set it on a bucket or other, other some other type of surface that so you can get it off the ground. Put a little weight on it. You're trying to get that bead to lock on right here from, on the opposite side. So I give it a little shove and work it around there. Okay, and then all you can do is try. Work on it. There we go. Get it to pop up on the beads before you let it off. Get some air pressure in it. All right, now we're gonna take it off and put the core in it. Try not to lose your core. And there you go, home free. And we're gonna air it up and leak check it with soapy water. See if we have any issues. And, you know, whatever, this tire is probably rated for 44 PSI. No, 35, okay. So, you know, soapy water, you can find your nails in your tires or leaks around your beads, your valve stem. This side looks pretty good. Slippery. Mm -hmm. Okay, I call that good. So, we're done. And there you go. You know, if you're not talking on camera, you can have that done in five minutes. Okay, good luck and have fun.